Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are, uh, from wherever which country you are from. My name is Albert Tan from Download Silo, and we are here to do you a, a, to do another Facebook Live uh, with the founders of this uh, Audi, uh, not Audi, audio. <laughs> so I always thought of the car, not Audi, A U D I. You know, it's actually pronounced as audio. A W E D I O. So with me today we have Sabir Ahmad, uh, which is the CEO of this uh, Audi, uh, audio, <laughs> and Atu uh, is a CTO, you know, that uh, the tech, main tech guy uh, from this uh, audio. And we are happy to have you guys here uh, to be with us. And before we actually start the session, uh, let me do some housekeeping, you know. Uh, if you can hear us or uh, see us, no, please type your name as well as uh, give permission to this, uh, what they call Facebook, uh, no, to this uh, restream to show your name as well as your photo when you do the chat so so that we can communicate better so that uh, Sabil and also uh, Atul will know who is speaking and you know, who is uh, writing. So please do that. You know, uh, the, the link is here. Chat dot restream dot io slash facebook you just click that and give permission and that's it you know so let's look at who is i online now okay we have sujit sujit how are you and we have sean uh son di Zosa. glad to be here with you let's see oh nilayan how are you that's good so i think everybody can see us and hear us so let me uh, Give you an introduction of this uh, session so this session is actually uh what they call a, a presentation of this uh, new text to speech as well as text to video uh, app called audio and the purpose of it is actually the, to let the founders you know to introduce the new uh, app uh, to you guys so we know that there are many uh, what I call similar apps, you know, in the market, you know, launched uh, maybe last year, last few months, you know. But let's see what uh, the founders have uh, for us, you know. So at my what I call in the screen on my right hand side top is actually Sabil, and at the bottom is actually uh, Atu. So how are you, uh, Atu and Sabil? Hey Albert, we're doing really good. Thanks for having <laughs> us here. Okay, you can speak louder, no problem. I, I, I mean, the audience can adjust their volume, no problem. You know, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, okay. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, hopefully, we get to uh, give give you guys a glimpse of audio and what it's about, and how how this journey started, and what what we are doing right now. Yeah, really mm -hmm. excited to share what we've been up to. Yeah. Okay. Before you actually begin, you know, uh, the audience will definitely like to know, you know, uh, especially the founder, the CEO, you know, can you tell us a little bit uh, in few sentences, you know, uh, why do you want to start audio and what is your background? Yeah, so firstly, regarding my background, we've been creating applications uh, for over 10 years. I've been an entrepreneur, a content creator. And uh, since I'm a content creator, I've always, always uh, dealt with creating videos and audio content. And not, it wasn't an easy task, an audio and video creation. And uh, every content creator will know this probably. It's definitely not an easy task. So and every audio content creation or even video content creation, we all, we've always used text-to-speech tools. And in the past, a lot of them, a lot of them. Uh, but we've always been amazed with the text quality how far the whole text-to-speech technology has come, but we've always th thought there's definitely a room for improvement in the user experience place. It was really, really all over the place. We've tried so many apps, but we couldn't, we couldn't really digest them. Being ourselves uh, a great UX experience, UI UX designers, we absolutely cannot. So we were like, let's just scratch our own itch, and here we are with audio. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. You know, of course, uh, I mean, the best judges will be the audience, you know, uh, when they have used it, you know. Uh, of course, I have used your your app before, so I reserve my comment because I want to hear what the audience says. Okay, move on to this, uh, Atu. Atu, you are the chief technology guys, you know, uh, behind this uh, app. Uh, could you right. introduce yourself and then say a few words? 
Sure. Yeah, I've been around in you know startup world for around more than fifteen years now. Uh, initially, I tried few ideas, but they didn't work out. Uh, much more recently, last year we started with Writer, which took off really well. And uh, I met Sabe later on, and then we started Audio uh, after seeing that you know there is a, a particular uh, option to create better user experience with content creation, especially audio and video both. So initially we started with audio only, but now we are also concentrating on video part for content okay. creation workflow. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, for your information, guys, uh, Artu is the uh, also the you know the tech guy behind this uh, writer, you no know, R Y T R, which has a very successful run in uh, AppSumo. It's actually the app of the year, you know, in two zero two one, you know. So I'm not sure whether uh, we'll go there, uh, repeat this feat <laughs> in uh, Epsumo. Let's hope so, you know, because uh, yeah. so, and I hope Definitely. that you know, uh, both of them uh, will do it very, very good, you know, uh, for this uh, audio. And we have actually many competitors, you know. Uh, I have actually listed in a poll, you know, roughly, I know, I think we have listed about maybe 15 to 20 uh, competitors, you know, it's a very crowded market, but nevertheless, you know, it's the same for every app, you know, let's say for a chat box, you know, uh, for email marketing, uh, software, every field, you know, you have a lot of competitors, but it doesn't mean that you cannot do it well. Okay, without further ado, uh, let's uh, get the team started, and I think Sabir will share his screen, and we get it started now. Stay tuned. Thanks, Albert. Yeah. So once you log in to audio, this is the screen you are shown. Uh, we've got scripts, we've got videos, we've got podcasts and audiobooks. Let's forget, skip the rest for now. Uh, we'll concentrate on scripts. Scripts are nothing but like voiceovers. So you can create folders, you can create new scripts. So let's start by creating a new script. So whenever you create a new script, you just give it a name, anything like a base baking cake just type that so once you are here you'll landing in the main editor section so main editor section there are a lot of controls here uh to configure your script so firstly i want to show the the language the voice the voice we have about 680 voices with 90 plus languages you click on the voice name you get a dialogue box it has language it's got dialects it's got gender you can filter by any sections. We've got English, under which we have a lot of uh, over like eight to 10 different dialects. You can select your different dialects. And once you're comfortable filtering that out, you can always uh, filter again by gender. And once you're in the right language and dialect, you can always click on a particular voice. Audio is a text-to-speech converter that helps you create high quality. So to actually play that particular voice, and figure out whether it's the right, right voice for you. Once you're comfortable with it, you can probably be like, hey, you know what? Let me just click on- Audio Matthew. is a text-to-speech converter that helps you create- I think Matthew is pretty good for me. So let me select Matthew. And once I'm comfortable with the voice selection, what I do is I go back, I either type the content, like I can say like, hey, let's Matthew, let Matthew say hi. Hey. Yeah, that works for me. So once Matthew said hi, what we can do is we can go back to our script. We can copy our existing script or we can start typing here, whichever you're comfortable with. For this particular demo, I'm just going to paste in the script. So once I've pasted in the script, I can adjust a couple of cont contents, you know, like how to bake a cake. Maybe let me emphasize a little bit of the cake part. So you have a lot of controls. I can just show you the controls again. So you have emphasis, you can tune the voice, you can add a pause, you can pronounce. You can click on pronounce to just your ingredients. Just that portion of the selected text. You can emphasize, you can make it stronger, you can reduce uh, the, uh, the, the emphasis or keep it moderate. Tune, we have over here rate and pitch. Rate, again, tells how fast, fast the, use, uh, the voice is speaking the particular content. So you can always, uh, we have different levels of speed. Similar to that, we've got pitch and what kind of pitch the particular uh, content is uh, pronounced uh, or spoken. So once you're comfortable with that, you can always play just a particular section of a particular uh, your script. A section, you can think of it as nothing but a paragraph. 
these are sections. These are multiple sections. You can add a section in between. You can remove the section again, and you can play just a particular section. Why do we have sections? Just Measure your ingredients. It's very, very easy to actually, you know, edit a section-based content and then, you know, like uh, uh, listen to a part of the se uh, a content. You you don't want to listen to the whole thing just to get to this part and how it's pronounced, right? So that's why we've got sections. Now, once you're comfortable with this, hey, you can add background music, you can choose a file, you can save it, uh, and you can control also the volume of how uh, how loud the background should actually sound. So once you're done, you can hit save. Sometimes you might feel like, hey, uh, there are certain words the, the voice is not pronouncing correctly, right? You can always go to the pronunciation map, hit that particular sentence, you know, and give it a replacement of how it should actually sound. So you can type it out there and then you can hit save. So you can do that and you can also test that with different voices. So we've got that configuration also. So let me just close this. And once you're really comfortable with, you know, all the sections that have been pronounced very correctly, you can hit the main play button and with a couple a of seconds. First, set out your ingredients. Measure your ingredients while the butter and eggs warm up. Batter mixes best when ingredients are at room temperature. Preheat your oven for at least 20 minutes. Use an oven thermometer so you'll know if your oven is running hot or cold. Like you can see, Matthew just recited us a couple of steps in how to bake a cake recipe. That's, that's all about it. And you can hit the download button and the download starts. That's as clean. We wanted to clean, have a clean, very simple, minimal interface. But we've got a couple of more uh, features over here, things like uploading your own audio file. So basically, sometimes you might be in uh, in a jam where you want to add an intro music to your uh, content, or it could be the if you're creating a podcast, you might have an intro or outro music, or even you upload your own voice, right? There can be a lot of uh, features. And also, you can download each and every section so that you can actually uh, attach it in your own video in certain parts. So we've got all these features. So keeping the whole layout minimal, easy to use, but at the same time, we try to make making sure we're not going to compromise on the quality, you know, like we're not going to compromise on the features that are provided to our users. So this was about the whole how to create a voiceover section. Uh, now moving on, I think one of our latest and most well-received feature is the video section. We all want to create, uh, ultimately, most of these voiceovers which are created end up going in a video. So we were like, how do we try to make this more simpler, you know, uh, without users having to download each different audio sections and then merging them back with their video. Again, it's a very huge time consuming process. We were like, hey, let's try to simplify this. Let's see what how we can do this. Click on new video whenever when in, your, in the video section, you can click on like Samsung demo. We can probably, so you're over here, we configure the video configuration, you know, just like a couple of settings on how your video should look. What is the orientation? So let's just check here. What size do we want? Do we want an Instagram? If that's a square portrait. And then we have a landscape view. For this particular example, let's try out the landscape view so that we can post it on YouTube or Facebook. And enable fade effects is basically, do you want a fade animation between different sections? Let's try doing that. And over here, you've got an amazing feature where your subtitles are embedded on the video. So it's much cleaner. People can read it out. So you can place, let's just select a large subtitle, uh, probably in the bottom of the screen. And we also can select font. So let's just select the caveat font. And since I think the background is a little light in our use case, we want this subtitle to be highlighted with a black little black dark background. So let's choose a file. This particular image will be our default image. So I picked one sample image for us. This looks amazing. And I hit save. This, this image becomes our default image right now. Now let me check out a certain voice. Let me play. Jenny. Audio is a text. Okay, Jenny is a voice I want to select for this particular intro demo. Uh, I can come back here on my script. I can copy my script. I can paste it back in my video edit in the editor section. It's the same process. All we have different over here is we've got a video component here. You can click on this image to change, uh, upload a video or an image. 
So for this particular section, I want to keep this the placeholder image. But for here, I think I want to introduce a video. Let's see how it's done. We can click on this, upload this video, click, hit open. It's going, there's a loading indicator and that's it. A video is uploaded. Let's upload an image in this particular section. Okay, this is image two, sounds good. That looks good, perfect. So let's try playing the audio part. Meet Galaxy S22 Ultra with the power of Note. Okay, that sounds good. I'm assuming this content, this uh, voice will be perfect for my use case. So once I'm comfortable, you know, with the whole audio part, what I can do is I can hit the preview. The preview, what it does is it creates an, the entire video. So basically it renders the entire video. It takes a couple of minutes, maybe a minute to do, depending on the size of your video, it doesn't take a lot of time. But, you know, sometimes uh, it, if it takes in Meet Galaxy. certain cases, if it takes a lot of time, you will also get an email whenever the video rendering process is complete. So let me just uh, hit play over here. This is the video. S22 Ultra with the power of now. Let me play this video, download this video and play it in a full screen. Meet Galaxy S22 Ultra with the power of note. Slim and bold, a polished frame surrounds the extruded shape for elegant symmetry. Be a trendsetter and embrace the bold tones of burgundy or green. That's it. So you can see how easily we just created a video just by attaching a few images and clips to just sections and that's it. There's no video editor. We don't have any timeline editor. There's no layers, there's no nothing. You want to add a background music just to go along with this? We can just do that. You can click here, add a background music, select the volume level and done. That's it. That's about it. This is the whole process. It takes less than two minutes. Nothing fancy, not, no bells and whistles. We don't need any crazy tools with, you know, 50 different configurations. Uh, we know this is not for all types of video editing, but in most cases, this is what a normal content creator needs. So yeah, back to you, Albert, I guess. Uh, do you have any questions for me? Albert, you are muted, I, I suppose. Okay, sorry, <laughs> I was sure. muted myself, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe I have some question. Yeah, yeah, but go ahead. Uh, can you just show up your screen? I mean, just now the screen. Sure, sure. Share your screen just now. Yeah, please. Yeah. Okay, so when I was uh, testing it out, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I was in the script uh, script section, so I have actually uh, put up the script. So, but I want to transfer the script to the video section. Yeah. So I would prefer that you know uh, there is a copy and paste for all the section, you know, rather than one by one. Absolutely, I think I think that, yeah yeah I, I think that's a very good point. Like even I think we've noticed some of our users complain that they started off with the script, but as soon as we added the video feature, they definitely want to use it but they want to use their existing script too. <laughs> but I can, I can definitely see where you're coming from, Albert. Definitely will yeah. definitely look into this. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it will be yeah. very convenient, you know, you can just put a three dot there, Absolutely. you know, copy the whole script to the Correct. video or maybe to the podcast or whatever, you know, it's, I think it's quite easily done. Yeah, yeah exactly. that, that is my one of my uh, suggestion, you know. Thank you so much. Yeah, that, that's a really, really good suggestion. I, I, we are definitely working on that. You can already see we already have a, a section to duplicate the script because we know for a fact sometimes you just want to keep the same script but you want to test out with some different voices and you don't want to lose the previous script or the voice so that's why we've got a duplicate option so you can duplicate a script it's duplicated you can come back here it's the same script you can just change the voices and try playing around a little bit more without losing your original script right so yeah we can we can definitely work on something similar but you want to duplicate the script in the video section Perfect. That makes absolute sense, Albert. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you can go to the section of a uh, podcast and uh, audio. Uh, how yeah. to do it? You know. Perfect. So let me just 
go through the podcast section. So a lot of us don't have an amazing voice or like a studio quality equipment set up like 10K, 50K, you know, uh, microphones and like crazy headphones. So no worries. You don't need anything. You, you, you just need to have audio, I guess, in this case. So once you're in the podcast section, you can click on new show, enter the show, show details like, you know, like my first podcast. Uh, me and you can select a couple, couple of sections it could be based on health and fitness and then fitness and then you can choose a cover image in this case i'm just going to select our old galaxy old uh, image and then you hit on save once you hit on save that's it your your bot uh, your show is created now you're brought into the show the the actual uh, podcast show page and once you click on create a new episode, this is where it actually starts. Uh, so you can, my first episode, just enter a couple of details about the episode. You can be like, uh, this is the test. And I can select different coverage images for different uh, episodes. But in this case, let's just keep it to the main uh, cover image, which we've selected for the entire show. So once it's done, we hit save. Once this is done, we're back into the script editor, which we love so much. And this is where, again, we can start with, hey, this is my first episode. Let's keep Sarah for this. Once we hit play. Hey, this is my first episode. Amazing. So let me just hit play again. And hey, then, this is my first episode. So once Sarah is done, so you can come back here again to the podcast uh, page, the, the actual RSS page. And what happens here is uh, now that you've created your podcast, how do you know it's published or not? First, you can check out the public page. We give you a beautiful page based on your image that you've uploaded with all the episodes, right? Like this, you know? Hey, this is my first episode. See, it's just amazing. And they can share the uh, particular podcast and they can click on the podcast episode and you can share the podcast episode individually also. But sometimes you're like, hey, I need to put this on Spotify or Google podcast. How do I do this? You can copy this RSS feed. You get this particular link. You just copy it and you can go to publish on podcast section. So you can just go to Spotify. These links are already in our resources section. You can just click on these links, Spotify, Apple podcast, Google podcast, enter a couple of details or there. There's going to be an option where you can import from RSS feed. You can paste in the script and that's it. These are the resulting content uh, images. Uh, this is one of a couple of uh, podcasts that have been created from our show and hosted on Spotify, Google Podcast, and Apple Podcast. So uh, that's how it works. It's as simple as that. There is no, there is no uh, science behind it. It's it's very very clean and simple. You click on, uh, and then whenever you want to click on, uh, create a new episode, you can click on this new episode. And that's about it. It's, it's as simple as that, a creating podcast. So let's go back to shows. So yeah, Albert, any questions for me in this particular case? Maybe we should uh, go to the audio books. Uh, when we finish, then we go back to the chat, you know, and check where, uh, to see what other questions that will be better. Absolutely. So audiobooks is in most of the cases we love to uh, listen to a lot of audiobooks, especially when we're on the run or doing home errands, you know. Uh, so what 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 we've done is a very simple thing. You click on an audiobook, click on new book, enter the book, my first book, and then author is Southern. Let me just uh, this is a trial. And let me choose a cop nice cover image for this particular book. It's gonna be a good old galaxy image. Uh, and let me hit save. And once you're done, it's similar to the podcast flow. The book is created, but you need to add chapters in it. So click on create new chapter. Let's add the first chapter. Let's do first chapter, enter the first chapter name. Let's keep it the first chapter. Click on create. Again, we're back into the uh, script editor. And then you're like, it's amazing. Sarah will help us convert that. This book is amazing. So once you're happy with that, you can go to the uh, book at the book level, uh, and you can click on the public page again. Just like podcast, we have a beautiful page ready for you. 
Again, the color of the page changes based on the actual image that you've uploaded. So you can get different images. And that's it. You can just share this particular link with all of your users. You don't need to think about, you know, hey, do I have to upload this book somewhere? So that how do I share it with some of the users or to get feedback? You can just share it here. And every time you want to uh, update it, you can just come back here, you can uh, change the script and the book automatically updates. So you don't need to re-upload files, you don't need to manage files, you don't need to host them, nothing. All this is done by audio. So once you're, yeah, that's that's about it for creating books, I think. Okay. Uh, thank you, Sabil. So I think you more or less have uh, gone through a one round, you know, a uh, simple procedure on how to do the script, voices, uh, I mean, uh, what they call the videos, you know, and podcasts and also audiobook. I think these are quite straightforward. So I believe, uh, you know, uh, maybe before we actually go into what they call this uh, the chat question, you know, uh, I have a few questions to ask, you know, because, uh, I mean, those are very important questions. Basically, you know, uh, we know that, you know, right in the beginning, I already said, you know, there are maybe 15 to 20 competitors around who are actually been doing uh, maybe LTD, you know, that kind of thing. So, I mean, the main thing about this uh, text-to-speech is a natural uh, voice that you know, created by AI technologies. So, can you tell us, you know, what is it so different from you, you know, from the other competitor that we must, you know, actually buy your product? You know, I asked for the audience. Yeah. So I think uh, if I think your audience has already used uh, a lot of uh, writer uh, uh, writer product, so you already know how simple it is to use. And we wanted to bring that simplicity to actually uh, text to speech uh, speech based technologies because all the tools we've used in the past really really suffered from a lot really bad user experience. And even if some of them have good UX, they lack in somewhere or the other, you know, either the voices are limited or like the functionalities are limited. Some of them, uh, I can show you one of the key features I forgot to show you in our particular uh, scenario was, let me just go back to our baking recipe. Uh, one of the key features is having multiple voices in the same script. I forgot to show you guys this. So let's imagine line one, James want to tell. Line two, you want to uh, make sure it's Sally, right? Line three, maybe let's give it to Jenny. Line four, here with Matthew, and let's let's play it. So there can be multiple voice actors in the same script. How to bake a cake? First, set out your ingredients. Measure your ingredients while the butter and eggs warm up. Batter mixes best when ingredients are at room temperature. Preheat your oven for at least 20 minutes. So like you see here, like you can have multiple voices in the same script. This is not done by a lot of uh, our competitors. Only a few of them do it. And even if they do it, they're very uh, finicky about it. And the other key feature, which is very important, especially in terms of podcast and other uh, even normal scripts is basically you want to add your own music it be it, or like uh, for sound effects in between certain uh, voiceovers, you know? So you can easily do that, click here, upload your own file. None of our competitors do this, you know? Uh, adding your own file in between two voiceovers. So it's a very, and the user experience, We at the same time, we wanna make sure it's not, it's very clean, it's no, no clutter and very intuitive. So that's one of the key features. But as we went along, like I said, uh, what we noticed was like the whole uh, space for the video part, because it's only natural to assume that a lot of these audio content goes into a certain video. So I think the video part is something which we came across based on dozens of our feedbacks from our users. And based on this, this we just created this video feature, very intuitive, very clean to use. And this was this has not been created by any of our competitors. And uh, most of the competitors who are there, they're proper video creators with huge timelines, uh, timeline view, and a, a crazy uh, video editor with a lot of uh, bells and whistles, which are which are good in certain cases, but in most cases they're overwhelming to the user. You know, this has a huge learning curve, and you can't really churn out really great content at in a very limited amount of span. So we want to keep it simple, fast, and effective in this particular case. 
Okay, Sabil, uh, when you are talking about this, uh, your feature is better than some other competitor. Why don't you bring up the your your what it called a comparison chart? I I believe you have a comparison chart for all your major competitors so that you know everybody can see. So to make yeah, I know <laughs> since uh, just like uh, like you said, we have like dozens of competitors, and uh, we uh, we just picked out the ones whom we thought are very close to what we offer. Uh, because there are so many TTS providers, but we don't want to compare it to all of them because some of them are really not worth comparing to. I'm sorry to say this. Uh, so let's just compare, like, create, uh, click on view comparison with all all the uh, other players. Uh, I don't want to name them, but you can just check them out. So we went went from uh, very easy to compare from pricing to Coda to free trial to maximum number of characters per conversation. Some people will not offer that. We don't have any limit on how many number of characters that need to be in a script. Absolutely not. Uh, and podcast support, not all players offer it. Like you can see from this chart, some players offer X, some player, uh, uh, some some particular competitors are missing X. So we, we, we've we always found this an issue, right? You, you don't want to compromise on these features. That's the, re that's the reason we've built audio. Uh, so you can create podcast page. We give you podcast public page. Basically, you don't need to, again, you know, share, uh, host it on Spotify or anything. You can just share your link and it's done. We're the only ones who do that. Um, when it comes to audiobooks, a uh, lot of people don't offer. Nobody, none of our competitors offer audiobooks. Uh, in our case, it's very easy. Just convert your ebook into audiobook, share the link, you're done. That's it. There's no hosting, there's no rewrite, there's nothing. It's very clean and simple. And uh, a lot of other things. Uh, I, I, I believe we have to update this. We, we have background audio right now. I think so. We, so it's a yes over here. So coming down again, the number of languages, we have the highest number of languages over 64 and we have 680 plus voices. Again, an update needs to be made. We're updating every other day. Uh, we've got the largest collection of voices and we keep it updated almost every week. So again, uh, Support for multiple, like like I showed you guys the demo. Support for uh, different voices in just one single script. Uh, not many of our competitors do that. You can see this player analytics. We are working on this. This is again a cool feature. I think whenever people want to like, uh, hey, uh, see how many people listen to their uh, public page or their content, we we will definitely surface that. And we've got folder management, and a lot of our players, uh, a lot of our competitors don't offer that because folder management is very, very important. Everybody knows this. We've got projects, we've got, we need to be organized. We can't just be throwing scripts around left, right, and center. So we definitely, uh, you, you can highly appreciate this particular. And uh, duplicate items, duplicate items is basically duplicating the script. Like I showed you that feature where, hey, you know, uh, I'm, I'm satisfied this, with, with this particular script, but I just want to test out, play around with different voices. What do you want to do? You don't want to copy the whole script back again and try the whole thing again. You can just duplicate script, change the voices, play around without losing your uh, original source file. Upload your files. So nobody pretty much offers this feature where you can actually uh, actually upload your own uh, sound, be it the sound effects, adding an intro music, outro music. Nobody offers this. An embeddable player, some of our uh, uh, competitors offer it, but yeah, uh, it's a really nice uh, feature to have where uh, people can upload their um, blog content, trans. Uh, convert it into text-to-speech, copy the embeddable link, and then paste it on their uh, website and you know embed the player. And it's a beautiful, clean player. So this is a comparison chart, which uh, uh, everybody can see, because we want to be as transparent with our users as possible. If we are lacking fee few features, we want to be open about it. And we want to tell what's our stand, you know, why are we doing not doing it? Or what, are we still working on it? Or what, what's the uh, roadmap looking like? So definitely, we, we want to be as I, I definitely think uh, the way forward is definitely just listen, listening to users feedbacks. And, and I think that that's the natural progression of any product. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Uh, <clears throat> Sabil. OK, let me tell you what is the audience preference as it is now. OK, I, I done a poll in my group, you know, so the number one is actually the listener, you know, uh, on the yeah. right hand side, uh, of course. You know, the founder is also first to seen, you know, first to the yeah. <laughs> uh, time deal scene, you know. So he has a lot of uh, improvement over the months and yeah. he's the first one 
I would say, you know, uh, to actually do a, like LTD. So that's why he captured a sizable market. You know? right. so, yeah. And many people are actually talking about uh, low wall and uh, play HD uh, because of some natural voices uh, they have. You know? so, but in terms of voices, I think it also depends a lot on the dialect you're you comparing with and which language you're using. So, I mean, very difficult for us to, to judge. But then it's a matter of judgment and also a preference. So that's why you know uh, it's good to you know to compare with the competitors and to learn from them, you know, as well as to you know uh, to make it better. So of course there are latecomers, you know, like uh, Blackify, you know, and some other listen to it, you know, which I also haven't tried it. You know, there's so many to try. <laughs> you can't even try every one of them. Absolutely. So and I believe that you know. Uh, the audience are actually very interested to know what is your technology, you know, uh, in the AI technology that you use uh, behind your this uh, what they call uh, audio. Can you tell us uh, more about it? Yeah, absolutely. Like uh, we've also listed this on our comparison page. The first thing we mentioned is the AI technology. So we are having voices from Google WaveNet, Azure Neural Networks, and Amazon Quali. Uh, we've also mentioned what our competitors use. Uh, sometimes uh, you might see our company uh, similar uh, voices, but uh, what happens is they do not interrupt. Right? So, yeah. Is that outside voices? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This is like a lot of disturbance. Okay, uh, why why don't you use uh, IBM Watson? No, no, I don't know because I'm not a tech guy. Absolutely, uh, it's in our roadmap. We we uh, I, IBM Watson provides a few good, really good voices, but they have a limited voice collections, and it's in our roadmap. We were like, okay, this voices are good enough for now. Let's work on some more. Uh, so we we always try to measure like what's the feature which can have like we can build fast and have a higher amount of impact in our day to day uh, uh, life uh, activity of audio, right? Uh, I mean, adding IBM Watson voices are amazing. Yes, it's amazing. Uh, it's in our roadmap again. Uh, but we, we think there are some more features you love better than that. So we're working on that first. And when we get to it, we'll hit the, uh, you know, adding uh, IBM voices here. Okay. That's good. Okay. Uh, I think we have uh, <clears throat> a lot of uh, questions uh, that are actually been asked. You know? Why don't we go from the top to the bottom and then we can start answering specific question you know yeah okay let me go up okay this is a good question can you use a blog post you know a url you know, and convert it into the audio blog or podcast or maybe an audio book by Absolutely. giving you the url only <laughs> yeah so one thing we we are definitely it's uh, again let me just open my roadmap our roadmap page so we have it in our roadmap to import scripts from URL. So all you need to do is in the script page, you just have an option to import the URL uh, and then you hit enter and it automatically grabs all the textual content from your blog or post and it'll copy it and bring it back into the script. So then you don't have to manually copy and paste it. So that's definitely in our roadmap. We, we definitely think, again, uh, that's one of the key features that's really required to simplify the workflow, yeah. Okay, that's good because uh, that will save a lot of uh, time, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. What I call to to what I call convert the text to speech, you know. Okay, next question. Yeah, I think this has been answered. So you can actually combine. I think any number of voices, right? You know, yeah, two. any number, any number. We don't have a limit. You can make a mashup of our 680 voices. <laughs> one, one thing, and it's going to happen. Yeah, try it out. Okay, this is uh, Sujit was trying to answer that, you know. Okay, that's great. Let's uh, move on. Okay, Nilayan was uh, commenting that, you know, uh, price. So say something about your price, you know. I think there are some people who are offering a slightly lower price. But I forgot to tell the audience, you know. Actually, uh, they have been offering, I think, $58, right? Before yeah. you 
before you a, increase the price to 98 you know tell us why you increase the price for 40 dollars yeah so so our earlier price was 59 dollars and right now the price has been uh, increased to 89 dollars that's a 30 dollar jump you might be like wait what happened here so what happened was uh, with the video feature that's what happened so we introduced the video feature which we think is really amazing but our server cost really went up so we have to add a lot of servers in order to make sure the rendering process is very smooth and fast. And we definitely think it's worth it. Uh, the $30 extra jump actually puts us way ahead of in terms of competition. There's nothing uh, like what we do in the market right now. So it's definitely going to be worth it. So, but you could still say like, hey, even before that, you know, uh, let me just compare uh, it to other DTS players who might give unlimited credits or unlimited, uh, you know, uh, 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 particular no barrier, no entry. So what happens in that particular case is uh, we want to be a sustainable model. Most of the uh, TTS providers out there are using definitely Azure, Google, and Amazon, and they all charge for every character that's been converted into audio. So there is no sustainable way where a provider, a TTS provider can actually give you unlimited credits. It doesn't happen. So if it's happening, then I guess if it's too good to be true, uh, you know the saying, right? Uh, so I don't want to name any of the competitors who give like uh, unlimited credits, but uh, beware of them, I would say. We want to make sure we are sustainable. We want to make sure uh, our LTD customers stay with us for life. You know, that's that's the whole concept, not like two years and then, yeah, go bust and grab cat. We're not here for a cat, quick cash grab, you know, give you at the low, low this thing unlimited. Even though we might uh, know that a lot of the LTD uh, users might not use the product initially in the first few months, we, on the other hand, want to create a product which a user is using every day. That's why we want to incorporate features like videos and things, uh, and you know, making easy clips, so that we we definitely love to see people use our product more, not just buy it and keep it. You know, <laughs> so that that's the whole uh, idea here. Okay. We want to go long, yeah. Here you <laughs> Yeah, yeah, thank you, uh, Sabil. Yeah, I understand that you know uh, the thirty <clears throat> the thirty dollars difference uh, of uh, because you ask you add this uh, text to video uh, capability in your um, in the app, you know. So, but I have to something to say about text to video. <clears throat> okay, first thing, uh, I think when you say video, uh, you 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 will have uh, images, you know. Uh, I would say that you know. I think I have also told you guys that you know. Uh, maybe you should connect to some free stock uh, uh, sites or maybe some paid site. You know, you just uh, do a, a partnership with them so that people can choose the video or picture uh, so that they don't have to go outside your app. You know, uh, well, the moment they go outside your app, they might forget to come back. So that is what I think, you know. So then you make it, you know, a, a really text to speech, that kind of a, a text to video kind of a app. You know, everything is inside your, your platform. Uh, people just browse a video or browse a, what they call this uh, uh, picture, you know, so that they can actually uh, choose whatever they want, you know, and make it more engaging uh, for their uh, text to video kind of uh, thing. So that would be my suggestion. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wonderful, wonderful observation, Albert. Thank you so much for the feedback. Definitely, we since we've been using our own product, we felt that particular burn every time we had to go to an unsplash or any of these uh, stock images download the image come back on our app and upload it yes and uh, we want to be make sure this process is uh, seamless so that's why you can see the next particular road item on our road back is pixels and unsplashed integrations where you can just go to uh, you click on upload uh, image a pop-up comes up there's already a bunch of images you can hit uh, what kind of image you're looking for you can just uh, select a particular stock image, uh, free st a royalty free stock image. You know, it's 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 right there. Yeah. You don't need to move away. You know, images or and videos. Yeah. So yeah, that's one of our uh, next uh, agenda item on our agenda. Yeah, that, that's good. You know. So yeah. thank you very much. And next, move to the next question by Nilayan. Yeah, they want to bring their own API. Yeah, and we've had, we've heard a couple of. Uh, uh, feedbacks for this uh, right now. Yes, I think once the platform is mature enough, I think we will start slowly start opening up to developers uh, 
so they can easily use our APIs and actually uh, use uh, the true potential of audio. Since the video feature is a very recent fe feature, I think a lot of uh, users will actually benefit from uh, using this particular feature in their own applications. So definitely it's it's uh, one thing which we are definitely considering uh, once the uh, product is at a stable and like uh, uh, we've added incorporated some of the key features, we're definitely gonna work on the API section to make sure uh, you know a lot more people have access to these features. Okay, thank you. Let's ask the uh, next, answer the next question. Okay, uh, Nilaya was asking, what is well said Labs voice? I think must be a very good uh, voices. So please enlighten us. Yeah, yeah. So what? what uh, so there are a couple of voices in the market. So the whole point about uh, text to speech, I think uh, we definitely believe one day the voices generated from these amazing AI engines will be indistinguishable from human voices. You will not be able to tell the difference. Uh, and we want to be on the on the on the edge of it. Whenever that happens, we want to be on the uh, we want to wait for that particular point. So you can see from one of our uh, blog section. Let me just go to the blogs. Uh, we we've, we've definitely said well said labs is again a, a TTS player in the market. Uh, they definitely have a really good quality of their voices are almost indistinguishable. They are the best voices uh, currently in the uh, market but they're very expensive at $50 and they have very a uh, few voices, about 28 voices and most of them are English. So definitely they're worth considering if you really, really want top of the quality and you don't mind paying a hefty price and have limited, uh, very, very limitations. And they're just a text to speech. They don't offer all the text to video or podcasting or, or any of the other solutions which we provide. But definitely they do have really, really good voices. I can definitely, and I still believe that uh, in the very near future, all the voices from Azure or Google will definitely get that. It's it's only a matter of time. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think this is a matter of cost, you know? It's just like the GPT-3, you know? Exactly. When everybody was jumping onto it, you know? So I think Atul know more than that. <laughs> Because there are so many models inside GPT-3 as well. You know, some people do shortcut. You know, they choose a cheaper model, but yeah. without you realizing it, you know. So if you are using a, I mean, Da Vinci, then it's fair enough. You know, you good result. You know. So, Hatu, would you like to comment something on that? Uh, sure. No, it makes sense. You know, like the uh, engines vary. Uh, the pricing vary depending upon the engine you use. So the you know providing LTD. Uh, by using, we always use the highest quality engine uh, in writer, uh, but we still provide the same engine for LTD users as well. But a lot of competitors are not doing that, so uh, that's why the writer quality is so good. We always keep the uh, engine the maximum level quality possible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Let's move on to the next uh, feedback. Okay. This is the feedback. I'm not sure. No, I realize the email is not enabled yet. Are you sure? Because I'm not sure. Because yes. I, I can, I can. So uh, for the initial few month, a uh, few weeks, I think we had disabled the email account just to reduce the amount of spam accounts because we know uh, from our past experience there might be some uh, bad actors. So just we just had uh, you know social logins with Google, uh, Facebook, and LinkedIn. But uh, we, we we've added email also, so don't worry about it. You can sign up with email. There's no like we that was just the initial period. We just wanted to make sure. Uh, we get some quality feedback. That's about it. So right now you can sign up with email, log in with email. It all works, you guys. Yeah, yeah I think that, that is soft. So this question is, I think you are using Poly, but not Watson yet, right? Yeah, it's it's in our roadmap. Very soon we'll be adding IBM Watson. Okay. Let's move to the next. I think this has been answered, you know, uh, 640. Uh. Yeah, it's increased to 680. We are slowly adding. <laughs> as well. Yeah, sometimes we've not updated that count, but yeah. It's <laughs> okay, let's move on. Mm, Suresh was asking, analytics robot excluded. What, what do you mean by this question, Suresh? 
Sabir, do you understand this question? Uh, can you repeat that? Is it to do with the player analytics? I'm not sure because the... Uh, player analytics is something basically like uh, if, if uh, since we have an embeddable player and also public pages, uh, users might want us to uh, know like how, how are their users actually interacting with their player or the audio version format, right? So we are definitely uh, uh, creating uh, an analytics uh, for the players is definitely in our roadmap. You can see here, uh, we, we, we want to create a, a, an analytics section where you can get a review of how, how your actual audio content has been uh, doing and how many people are listening to it. What is that? Uh, how much have they listened to it? How many hours have you uh, of content has been played? You know, all of those things are coming up. Yeah, they're definitely in our roadmap. Yeah, I think when uh, you have more what they call uh, uh, what they call more voices or, or more more script or whatever you know the, i mean the player analytics is important it's just like a youtube uh, analytics as well you know correct okay, let's move to the next question okay sujit asked <laughs> rollback of unused credit yeah uh, again like we want to say sustainable like unused credits rollback uh it kind of eventually snowballs and can become a huge thing uh, uh down down the line we don't want to keep ourselves like i don't uh apart from one uh individual competitor i don't uh, think anybody else does this because of a good reason because it can snowball into a lot large value and it can pretty much bankrupt your company if you're not uh, uh wise enough because especially since most of these tech, um, uh, text to speech provider provide uh, use um, all these uh tools like uh, Azure and Google Analytics, so you have to pay them for every uh, character that's converted. So it's kind of a little uh, unsustainable if you try to do that particular part. Yeah. So if you want to save some money, uh, not to say save some money, uh, utilize it most. So okay. then you have to monitor your your credit every month before it ends. <laughs> yeah. But the truth is that you know uh, maybe less than twenty percent of the user or buyer. You know who actually use the product to the maximum you know 80 20 rule you know, any kind of thing absolutely that's a perfect uh, point you brought up uh, albert most of the users we see they barely hit even 15 to 20 percent of their limits mm -hmm. most of the time they're just there but they still want unlimited I, we we don't see a reason why but you know it's it's very fair enough even if you have blogs you want to convert two three blog articles uh, every month or even seven eight blog articles if with 2,000 particular or 3,000 uh, words, that's still very highly unusual. You can still convert up to 10 articles like that every month, which is huge in, in our particular opinion. Yeah, it's, it's very huge in most cases. Most of the users will be definitely satisfied with the I mean, really generous limits, yeah. Okay, let's answer the next question. Yeah, this is an important question. You know? Are you able to distinguish you know, the content, you know? and maybe some other funny kind of text. I, I'm, I'm sure this is the question they want to ask. Uh, can you repeat that question? Sorry. Uh, can you see the, the screen? Uh, let me uh, come back. Uh, yeah. Uh, what question? Uh, can you, uh, which question are you referring to? Okay, I think. Okay, when you say the blog post to audio, uh, feature mm -hmm. i believe we're talking about url we give you a url then a url there will be a lot of text you know some are not actually the content maybe they correct, are correct, correct. kind of things it's it's always uh, uh tricky to because like every website uh behaves in so many number of ways because the web doesn't really have a very standard format that hey text will be just in this particular part of the page or this particular se section so we do have a library which we are trying to use to actually grab this data, but it won't be 100% accurate all the time because the web is infinite. So to, to make sure that it kind of fits into uh, and uh, and works on all websites is highly unlikely and, and not possible. But we try to make sure that it kind of adheres to most of the pages. So you can go for your medium article or most of the standard articles, you can copy paste it. Sometimes there might be some content that might be missing from the actual content that might have been ignored, or there might be some content that has been added additionally, you need to del delete or remove. 
uh, but that should not be too much of a hassle. I think I think in most cases it would work. I think about ninety percent cases uh, it would be very accurate. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what what it will become. You know when the what they call features come on board. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bong Nam Yuan was asking. You know voice avatar. Yeah, I think uh, some of our feedback has been that uh, people like uh, th there's a product called Synthesia, which basically creates voiceover, but they also have an AI voice avatar. So what happens is this avatar speaks whatever the voice is uh, is pronouncing. So it gives you a nice um, effect of uh, an a, a real person being there and speaking to them instead of like a robotic voice. It kind of eliminates that. And definitely that's one, one area we want to also explore and see how simple it is and um and how easy it is to do and how, and how many users really want it you know and like what is the impact that can it can have on audio you know so we definitely want to explore that option that's definitely on our list to check out and see see where we stand with this particular feature but we definitely think it's a really nice feature yeah really good question yeah okay i think tuhin was asking create content in bug i think you need api you know yeah once once we are back uh with our api i think you can start creating uh content in bulk especially if you have things like hey you ha i have already like 20 different or 50 different articles on my podcast uh, um blog uh, how do i convert that because i don't want to convert 50 of them at the same time it's a little time consuming so definitely i think uh, we want to create uh see uh, most of these uh requests come from the users we want to work on these feedbacks and see how many users can be, uh, what kind of um, uh, feature can we add to actually tackle this kind of issues? Because like people want to convert, like I think one of them is basically adding a, a link uh, directly and instead of copy paste. So that that will probably solve the problem for most cases. But yeah, like you said, Albert, uh, in other cases we they need the API. I think they have to wait for the API. Okay, okay. I don't understand this question. I don't see any other post for life. Suresh, maybe you want to rephrase your question. <laughs> okay, let's move to the next question if we ask again. And this is an interesting question. Manoj, okay, why do you want uh, to link in video and with video? No, because these are actually you know, a video editing kind of uh, app. You know? They are actually specialized in video editing. You know, Of course, they have text to video as one of their what they call main features but then i'm not sure why do you want to need this <laughs> yeah i think they're a little different in terms of like exact competition that's like comparing apples and oranges their workflow is more of timeline editor and you know fancy animation uh we don't want to do uh, those parts what we can do they can do what they can do you know it's like it's a little different because oh you're you're mostly you've got a nice script we've got 640 680 plus voices uh, I don't think any of these uh, uh, other video uh, editors give so many amount of voices. They probably have a 100 to 200 voices and very limited collection. And they don't really focus on the whole voiceover experience part of the video. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I would say uh, the use case are different, you know, because for, for maybe wave video or in video, they're actually video editing platform, you know, they have a lot of uh, features on this uh, editor. You know, but for you, it's just... Uh, to quickly churn out you know some uh, video using text you know with some simple maybe video or picture that's it you know i think that that serves the purpose of the text to video uh, in your context you know so i'm not sure but then if i really want to do some uh, very established uh, very detailed kind of uh, text to video uh, then maybe i would go to wave video or maybe in video or other flash clip or something like that you know so okay let's move on Okay, transcription, you know, that is also an interesting question. Uh, Faiz was asking. So, yeah, right now there, uh, we don't have an option where, you know, like, hey, I want to upload a particular transcript and, you know, convert it to a certain voice because that's a nice feature to have. I think, like, sometimes you have an uh, audio recording which you're not comfortable with, it might be your own voice, but you want it converted to a different voice from one of the voices listed in, you know, uh, audio. So you just want to put upload your voice transcript, basically um, convert it into the speech to text. 
so we don't have that feature yet, but we think that that's definitely one of the one of a feature that uh, users are asking. Uh, so we want to see how many users are really asking for it and how important this is. And based on that, yeah, definitely. We, we definitely look okay, Sabil, so if you ask me, I won. Yeah. You know, I think all of the audience also won. <laughs> yeah. I mean, video transcription, you know, is, is good. You know, if I do a video, you know, I mean, if you can transcribe for us, then it would be so much better. Okay. Uh, I would uh, like to clarify here. So uh, transcription is like nothing but the text of the you know subtitles again. So we actually start from subtitles, right? The text of the video, right? What you have to pronounce. So we already have the transcription in the script itself. So I mean, this question I'm not able to really get. Yeah, it, it's a little confusing because. Uh, oh, no, what, um, what I mean, maybe I, I should say, maybe they just say, okay, I give you a video. Okay. You play it in your platform. And transcribe for right. me into text. Ah, okay, reverse, okay, okay. Sure, sure. Video to text, right, text to right. video. Yeah. Got it, got it. Yeah, this can we can definitely look case into. scenario, but yeah, maybe <laughs> we can think about it. But in most cases, uh if they're if they're talking about, you know, do we can we have you know like text on the video? Because since you're already enter the entering the text in the script, we already have it and we embed it in the subtitles, just like we saw in the example. So we definitely add the whole uh, subtitle feature. Basically, we embed that particular uh, 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 text on the on the video, and you can select the font, you can select the uh, background image, and all these other options. So yeah, we we got yeah. that. Uh, Sabio, come back to the font. Yeah. Now, now you have three fonts, so yeah. make sure you have more fonts. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, we, we definitely think that that's a big gap. We're definitely gonna work on that. Make sure all users are satisfied with the collection of audio uh, fonts we have. So okay. there's no worries there. Let's move on to the next question. Uh, this is a uh, WordPress plugin. No? It's a good question. Yeah, I think a lot of users have again asked for this. Uh, again, since we are still starting off new, so we're covering most of the bases. But yeah, this is a very, very important feature to have uh, because there's a lot of, uh, the, most of the web is work, uh, running on WordPress. We all know that and definitely, uh, it's one of the one of the key uh, features I think which will propel audio ahead. I think we're definitely going to be working on that soon. We can definitely okay. discuss that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, thank you for your answer. And Nilayan came back with this uh, clarification. So regarding the API, you know, so this is what he want to use his own uh, Amazon Poly, for example, or API on audio. Audio is it possible? Mm, I'm not sure why would somebody want to do that because we already have Amazon Poly voices. We already have Azure voices. We already have uh, WaveNet uh, voices. The only voice uh, service that's missing is actually IBM Watson, which is going to be soon. So I think uh, adding another service, it doesn't make sense. Maybe well said because it's so expensive. You don't provide, you know, he's willing to pay, but he want to make it simple. He put it in, yeah. inside your platform. Oh, that's, that's a really good case. Actually, we've not thought about that. That's really interesting. Definitely. I mean, uh, please do reach out to us. We, we definitely want to increase the amount of voices and selection we have for the, uh, we want to provide for the users. Maybe we can probably collaborate, but yeah, well said labs. We at the same time want to make sure like, we, we stay affordable, not, uh, you know, uh, put all these uh, huge pricing of these premium uh, text to speech converters uh, onto our users. So yeah, definitely uh, that's one, one, one way to look at it to make sure like, um, but yeah, if, if we, in future, I think uh, it's, it's, it's a nice feature to have, but we definitely in life, reach out to us, tell us your uh, scenario use case, and we, we would like to yeah listen to you more. Yeah, maybe Nilayan is a very power user, or maybe his client is a very power user. They want perfect voice, you know? So, okay, that's good. Uh, okay, can we use our own voice, you know? I mean, like Lowo. Yeah, we, we wanted to explore this option. There were uh, multiple uh, scenarios over here, like uh, Azure and Google definitely offers uh, a, a particular service uh, in where we can uh, upload our custom voices, train the model, and you know, uh, cre create it. But we uh, ultimately um, kind of ended up that uh, those were very expensive to even for creating one voice was a really expensive affair. Uh, so I, I don't think in most of the users' case it will be sustainable. Uh, but we are looking at other options where we can develop our own, you know, uh, custom uh, voice option. We're definitely exploring that scenario because we. Who wouldn't love to hear their own voice at some point 
Uh, so we definitely want to uh, uh, explore that scenario where you can add your custom voices. Okay, that's great. So, okay, uh, Suresh, come back with the explanation. Uh, I mean, clarification. Just now you're talking about analytics and he's asking whether the Google bots, uh, when the Google bots play your, what they call the, uh, the speech, you know, would it be picked up by you? I think Atul can answer this. I think he's talking about uh, the search engine part, talk, uh, uh, picking yeah. up the, the audio content. Uh, yeah. Sure. I think uh, probably what Suresh means is like when we have the analytics, right, it might get uh, hits from the normal users, like the actual users, uh, as well as from the bots of search engines like right? Yahoo and Google. So will it affect the uh, analytics? I think that was his question. Will it affect oh, the God. analytics of it or not? Or will it separate it out and show it in different you know, sections? Like this is the actual human and there is the robots which have crawled. So at the moment, you can, uh, the, it's SEO friendly, the public pages we create for uh, podcast and audiobook are actually crawlable by uh, Google bots and everything like the all SEO optimized. Uh, even the URLs are SEO optimized, so it wouldn't be an issue. And um, I guess yeah, it should be okay with uh, whatever Suresh means. But I don't think the Google bot will play the. I mean, the no, no, they won't. No, no. Yeah, so it, 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 it would not be counted as played, you know, but only maybe can be counted as visited. viewed. Yeah, view. yeah, viewed. I, I guess, yeah. Okay, let's understand. Does the script have censorship? <laughs> what do you want to put inside? You know, Suresh, <laughs> erotic story or something like that? Yeah. So yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, since we are using services from Google Azure, there are definitely some terms of conditions uh, you have to follow. Like some kind of content cannot be explicit content cannot be published and converted because uh, that will have ill effects on us because we don't have uh, control over this particular uh, because these voices have been actually uh, been licensed from the actual original authors of these voices. They don't want their voice to be misused in certain ways. So we have to be very careful as to how these voices are used. And, uh, you know, so we, even we have to uh, uh, appreciate the licensing terms. Uh, so we, we definitely appreciate okay. that. So the answer is uh, we cannot have uh, what I call uh, explicit kind of adult, adult, adult kind of a script or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it depends on how dark it is because even it's, it's a gray area. There's no such thing as like, it's again, a subjective matter, I guess. But some things can be like really this thing. Uh, so yeah, we need to. Uh, we can definitely. You can check out our uh, terms of use uh, where we told uh, we've kind of specified what kind of content. And uh, there's no again subjective thing. Uh, so it shouldn't be explicit, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we we would definitely appreciate the whole you know adhering. Okay. Atu would know this very well. No GPT three say that you know you cannot have a yeah. what it called. Like, uh, what they call very explicit content, that kind of thing. So I don't know whether, you know, the voices uh, licensed by these people are, are also very restrictive, you know. For example, there may be uh, some writers, you know, they want to, you know, uh, put their erotic stories you know, inside, you know, as a podcast, that kind of thing. So that's what I think so. Yeah. So for now, uh, you can go ahead with, you know, adding uh, content. It does not filter out. But in future, we might add additional layer probably using GPT-3 to filter out the content, which is not, you know, we can uh, filter it before we send it to the API. For now, it's uh, kind of, you know, uh, not restricted, but in future, we we'll, might restrict it. But depends upon the level of uh, explicitness, we have to decide what to do in the future. Yeah, I mean, better uh, have another layer of uh, safety, you know? Right, right, okay. right. Makes sense. That's good. It's a good question, Suresh. <laughs> Okay, this is a compliment from Manoj. Thank you, Manoj. Really appreciate that. Really helps out. Okay, so voice over for existing video without voice. You know, that's a good question yeah, from Absolutely. Chokda. Absolutely. Amazing question, Chokda. So what you could do is basically, like we showed you the video feature, just add your, upload your video and add that uh, voice over content part, hit play, that's it. Your voiceover is added to your video. That's it. That's as simple as it is. Nothing. Yeah, it, this can be done with just a couple of clicks. Done. Yeah. Okay, that's good. 
yeah, this question is interesting because uh, if you can have more, uh, what you call intonation kind of a thing, you know, I think some competitor have that, you know, if I'm not wrong, I think Lobo have that, you know, if you have a happy, happy voice or maybe a sad voice or maybe a, a very serious voice, you know, that kind of things. Is it possible? Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, Azure offers a couple of voices, a very handful, less than five voices, in which you can actually specify these tones. Uh, we will definitely be adding that in the very near future. Things like, you know, hey, does this uh, voice sound like newscaster? It's the same voice, but you can specify a different tone. Is it a newscaster? Is it a chatbot kind of uh, mm -hmm. a, a narration? And, you know, you can definitely specify the different levels of tones. Yeah, yeah that, that will be good because maybe some... Uh, broadcaster new broadcaster or maybe some uh, debater you know that kind of things or maybe uh, speak like a politician you know yeah. <laughs> that kind of uh, uh, voice you know okay yeah. let's go to the next question so i believe this is basically a question where sam is asking really good question really everybody asks this all big youtubers ask this <coughs> I use my text to speech uh, audio content or the content part in YouTube and monetize my content. Absolutely. We uh, so very recently there was a lot of de debate uh, in YouTube telling YouTube uh, stated that hey the, these kind of uh, videos cannot be monetized. But later they took out this particular section. They said until and unless the content that you've generated is not a copied content, it's your own original content which actually adds value to the platform. It can be monetized. So there are a lot of editors, a lot of uh, people whom we know who have actually used text-to-speech voices in their videos and are and have monetized those videos and have not been banned or anything by YouTube. I think that that it should be uh, fair, you know, because some people are very shy, you know, uh, to go to speak, you know, so they depend on text-to-speech technology. Yeah, you know? right. yeah. That's that, a lot that is something that you know. Hard, yeah, a lot of people could they can have voice disability or they might not be able to speak a certain language, but they still want to reach out to that section of the audience. So th this particular uh, text-to-speech cannot be banned by YouTube, right? That doesn't make sense. Okay, I think this question, this is already there, right? You know, to teach yeah. you. I'm Dadul, yeah, I'm Dadul Islam. Uh, that lovely question. Again, this is a very key feature. You know, like like I I, I was ha having a hard time pronouncing your name. I'm definitely sure some of the voices will do. So you, we have a pronunciation editor. You can click on it. You can put in your act, actual uh, uh, name, how it's uh, written, and how it should be uh, spelled. You know, like and and then you hit pronounce, and everywhere throughout the script, it will pronounce your name in a correct way. So we already have this feature. You can definitely test that. Yeah, I mean, that feature is already there. OK, thank you. OK, Rabia was asking, will we get a way to upload to a drive of our choice? Meaning? To yeah. a drive of our, I mean download, right, or upload? Yeah, I, I'm assuming they want to upload it to directly to maybe Google Drive instead of downloading it. I guess uh, they just yeah. want to make it more seamless process. Yeah, for now it's just yeah, you just need to simply download it. We just get uh, either an MP4 file or an MP3 file depending on the video or audio. Well, yeah, maybe it's the output destination. I think that is quite easy to do. You know, I think R2 can actually do that. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm not wrong, because you can sure. upload your, your, your writer uh, content to various uh, what I call destination. Okay, so yeah, this plugin with coming, you know, Steve. <laughs> okay, let's move to the next question. Okay. Absolutely, Tuhin. You want more fonts? We want more fonts. We all love, all love fonts and we can't get enough of it. Fonts are definitely coming. And not one, two, we won't add it two, three, we'll add a hundred. How about that? Yeah. We can add what about animation is talking about animation. So I, I believe Tuhin is probably talking about the animation between one, one from one particular section to another section. We just have right now either a fade animation or you can remove that animation. Maybe he wants to have a slight animation. Maybe the animation can be a little bit more complex. So video, a lot of video editors have this. 
For now, we've tried to keep it simple. We didn't want to overwhelm the user with too many uh, features, but we want to still at the same time provide a certain few features which makes the video looks uh, one video different from the other. But this is a very cool feature to have animations. We've already seen it, but it's all about for us how to implement it without making sure the UX is not growing. So definitely, Tohen, we're looking into that. We're, we're trying to make sure we add it, but at the same time, not increase the complexity of using the app. Yeah, I believe, you know, uh, we have maybe certain uh, transition kind of thing will be good, you know, but yeah. not to overly uh, too right. much complex animation, then yeah. repeat the purpose of your app, you know? Absolutely, Alvin. Right on. Okay. I think this is the last question, you know. Uh, can we schedule a podcast to be broadcasted or we just post it? Tohen, yeah, that's that's a really good question. So if you go to our podcast, whenever once you've created it, there is a checkbox called published. So whenever you un unclick it, so you can type any of your, maybe it's an episode, you can uh, type in your script, you can hit play. And whenever you only check on that checkbox called published, that's when it goes live. Before that, it does not go live. So whenever you think, hey, this is the particular day I've created the podcast, this particular section of time, I can, you can just go un check that box, make sure it's published and all the other platforms will get it. If you have embedded your RSS feed to Spotify, everybody else gets that particular podcast. Yeah. Very good okay. question. Again. Okay. I think that covers all our question and we have actually overshot 15 minutes now. So don't worry. Guys, if you have any other question, uh, please uh, post it now and before we actually end it. And before we end it, uh, we would like to do the draw. No, let me share my screen. So this is the wheels of name. Uh, let me do the copy the name. So I have copied all the names here, uh, about 19 names. So there are 21 person watching, you know, maybe they also counted myself and maybe uh, Sabil or maybe Atu, you know, I'm not sure. Okay, no views. Suresh, you want your name to be out or what? <laughs> okay, let's answer this question before we spin. Uh, technically, audio does provide a dashboard for it. So you're saying uh, we already create a public link for you, you know, a beautiful page like we showed you know, to show, uh, share it with your audience. You don't need to host it anywhere. Uh, but apart from that, I'm not sure what you mean by an online dashboard. But I think this is what he mean, you know, a meeting page, you know, on a public page, you know, to, to host, I mean, to Got display it. all the uh, podcasts or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So basically we will give you a public page. It's easy, really beautiful. Uh, the colors uh, scheme is derived from your actual uh, image, uh, Color, the podcast cover so it's really free and yeah you can see all the you, you can share it with your users you can they can play it, uh, every episode yeah it's, it's very seamless yeah even for the scripts you can embed it so any script from any folder you can just embed that you get an embed link so you can just embed that on your blog post anything like that okay that's good yeah, I think we have answered all the questions. Uh, let's do the spinning now and before you know, we go back. So let's uh, do some shuffling. So guys, if you don't see your names there, please uh, type in the chat box. <laughs> okay, Suresh, so hopefully this time you will win. Okay, uh, we have one spin. So the winner uh, will have to, what I call, uh, say that you are here in order to claim the prize or else we will spin again until we get a person. So guys, uh, let me spin now and we hope that the best guy will win. Let's go. Oh, Raju, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Okay, Raju, congratulations. You are the winner. So I will make a post and uh, to tell you how to claim the prize you know, uh, tomorrow. So congratulations, Raju. And 
let me off this screen okay that's all uh we have uh, this session you know and we would like to say a few words before we actually conclude uh, this session and i'm glad that you know uh we have this sabil as well as atu with us you know to answer all your questions you know if there are still any other question uh, please you know ask in our facebook group or maybe join their group you know you can always ask them uh, directly in their group as well so i think with this uh i would think that you know uh what do you call this uh, audio i always pronounce it pro uh, not properly you know audio uh i think will be something that we need to notice you know even though we have a lot of uh, other competitor going uh i mean from the past you know so especially listener you know lobo as well as play hd you know so and i hope that you no know, if you have not bought this uh what i call this uh, any text to preach uh app you know please consider uh buying from this uh audio and test it drive uh, test drive it you know and comment you know so don't worry i will give you the link so this is the link so guys uh i hope that you enjoy this session and we will see you next time and before we say goodbye uh let me ask uh, the founders uh, sabil and atu do you have anything to say to the audience oh thank you albert for having us here again like uh, it was a really wonderful talking to the whole community answering their questions it really really helped uh, us uh, see some parts of the features which we want to create and, and explore more um again uh, I, i i think i'm really thankful for this opportunity again like so please uh, guys if you have any questions reach out to us uh, at support@audio.me uh, definitely uh, uh, we would love to have your support and feedback uh, yeah that's about it i guess okay yeah so, okay. thanks albert yeah, yeah. yeah i would like to add that you know uh, we want to build this product with the users along you know and uh, you just keep us you know moving into the right direction so that we provide the features which you love and and we also scratch our own itch you scratch your itch and you just share what you really want uh, to see in the product and we definitely make sure that we build that out for you and thanks for the community support and all you know albert is running his community and this uh, whole people who can help us build this product is successful as well as uh, create a good product which be useful for you guys also Okay, so before we actually end, uh, I mean today we only uh, give one prize, but you can actually win uh, three more prizes uh, in this in our post here. You know, go to our this post. You know, uh, LTD giveaway official discussion thread. You know, uh, there's three more prizes to be won. You know, most important thing is you know go and test drive this product. Uh, give a what they call a mini review with your question, feedback, or improvement suggestion. You know. Uh, so that you know uh, the founders can help to answer so we will announce the winner uh, not today you know maybe next week you know so we have three more prizes don't worry you have a lot of chances okay so guys uh, thank you for coming and we hope everybody have a good day good night you know or good evening and stay safe and free from covid <laughs> okay bye 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 guys